Hi, this is Sean Robenheimer showing off my Stretchy IK script. So this is the IK script interface here. You can choose your settings for your IK handles over here. You can choose your, if you wish for a world scaled object. So you select an object and you want that to be the world scale for that particular object, you can do that. And here is where you put it in. You can either type it in or you can just um, click and add it in. So I'm just going to show you it now. If I put a name in that doesn't exist, okay, and I try and do the script without selecting anything. I tell you if you have nothing selected. If you click too many objects, they'll say you have too many objects selected. You can only have a maximum of two. So when I select the two objects and I click here, it should say you have no objects, no objects found that are this particular name. And if you leave it empty, it'll tell you that you have left it empty. Please press load. So all I'm gonna do is load the object in pressing the load selection, select the two, and click. As you can see, it says this object has not got that correct attribute. Okay, cool. And what it's done is it's created the object, but it has not connected up the connection to this uh, Stretchy IK. So when you add everything to the Stretchy IK, it's pretty much going to kink out. It would have kinked out. But uh, what happened is, is it set it to a default that is preset in the script. So you don't have to worry if you don't have that attribute, world attribute. Um, as long as you still have a Y attribute, it will automatically set it to a default of Y scale. Okay. The script doesn't always need the world scale. You can always deactivate the world scale and select any one of the two objects without a world scale and click OK. And as you can see, we have now the same object controls, stretchiness. Click this and click this and pull, and it'll let me. You can see that it stretches. Okay. Now, if you've done this and you want to still be able to squash and stretch it inside an object space, you're going to have to connect up the world space node. So I'll just show you the structure, and you'll see, even though it's wasn't activated in the world space on your interface, it still sort of constructs the node that you require to do this. So as you can see here, it's giving all these numbers. Just see if I can expand it even further. There you go. So here it is, your world, your global scale node. And all you got to do is basically take your object that you want to <coughs> create a world scale to. All you got to do is basically select it, bring it in, um, open it up, go to your Y scale and just stick your Y scale in. And voila. So it will automatically create this node and all you've got to do is attach it to the uh, all anim that you want to use. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.